Hello, hello, hello. Hi. Welcome to the crap show. Crap, crap, same thing. <laughs> Literally been an hour trying to get stuff together. And I'm still not ready to go. All right, Miss Yvonne, tell them what we're doing. Don't you have a prototype you can give them a look at? Yeah. Yeah, what? I have the prototype. I'm trying to I'm trying to get us out there. We're making one of these. Today we're making a mini what is it called? A mini book. A recipe book mini case. bookcase. Yvonne has already had her hand at it and has done very well with it. I saw the idea and in the in the box it says we uh, were inspired by um, Crafty Crafty Purge who was inspired by yellow and pink sequins from Instagram. She doesn't have a YouTube but she's on Instagram and I put her link in and then Crafty uh, Purge is on YouTube and I put her link in to the uh, tutorial for this because I don't know if this is going to be a tutorial or not <laughs> <laughs> this is probably going to be hi Judy this is probably going to be hi, a of me not knowing what to do and Yvonne getting it right I've got the numbers <laughs> if that counts for anything Pull it up on the phone so I can see chat on YouTube. Okay, I posted in all of our groups. You posted in mine? Yep, yep. Okay. Both of them. Thank you. Did I? <laughs> yes, okay. <laughs> as well as I have to double check, did I? <laughs> So this would be interesting. Today we're hoping to get it made. I don't know so much about decorating it, but we, we're trying to get it made. And what we're going to do is it's going to be like a recipe. A little recipe book shelf type thing. Yeah. I'll show it again. Prototype. Oops. Hi Michelle. Hi Michelle. Okay. So to, to to start off making the box. Am I not am I good? Or do I need to pull out some? Probably need to pull out some. I know I'm trying to get mine to wear. Oh hey, that might help. There we go. Wait, now you can see my keyboard. Let me move that. <laughs> Hi, Jen. Hi, Michelle. Never can be prepared. It's inevitable. I'm just. I don't know if I said five or four. I don't know, man. This might be as good as it gets. All right. So we got a, tw a piece of 12 by 12 paper. Which is not, this is not what I'm using. I'll be back. I have to go get some black. <laughs> <laughs> uh, anyway, you're going to take a 12 by 12 sheet of paper and you're going to make it 12 by 10. Oh, I, no. I can do that while she's rummaging around. <laughs> I don't think I have a 12 by 12 black. I thought you were going to use that because it was double sided. No, I decided I'm going to do like you. I'm going to do like me. Oh, wait, I do have, oh, my Lord, y'all, I have one piece left. You only need one piece for the box. I got eight by ten. 
But 12 by 12, I only got one piece. Well, you're going to have to sacrifice it. All right, where's my 12 by 12? I mean, eight by 10. Eight by 10. Eight by 10. You know how many we don't have? I'm just going to grab a handful. <coughs> and try not to die. Get back over here. See, I asked her if she had all this stuff. No. <laughs> oh, I'm back in black. <laughs> She'll be back in black. Yep. It's been too long. Oh, my goodness, y'all. Yvonne's been ready for over an hour. She's just been watch, sitting there looking at me run around like a chicken with my head cut off. On, do you have this? Do you have this? <laughs> and now that I have another room, half of it's over there, half of it's over here. Crazy. Crazy, crazy, crazy. All right. So I got my 12 by 12 sheet that's got stuff on it. We're cutting that down to 12 by 10, right? Yep, yep. Oh, by 10. And you're on the 12 side, so you're going to score at three. Hold on, you're not going to switch out because I can't do both on the same one. No, I know. Nothing can be easy here. Nothing. I'm losing it. That's what you I'm pop doing. the two little tabs that go out opposite ways. <laughs> and we need there you go. inches, not centimeters. Okay, okay. So I know that on on the twelve side, you're going to score at three and nine. All right, this is a twelve. Uh-huh. 12, 3 to 9. 3. 3. All the way down, right? All the way. It's like Laurel and Hardy when you watch us. <laughs> it's worse than... Damn Laurel Hardy. <gasps> Not off the track. I'm y'all, I'm working with this old school. Okay. Three and ten, and then we turn it, right? No, three and nine. That's what I said. Three and nine. You said three and ten. <laughs> no, I got three and nine. So it's all good. All right, flip it. <laughs> <laughs> Flip it good. Two and, and then go it at two and five. <laughs> two. Yeah. And fizz eye. Oh no, off the track. All right. We got it, we got it. And then I know that we have to cut it. Then on the side that's your tin, you're going to cut here and here. You can't see because it's black. You're going to cut 
right, these two lines right here. I don't think I scored this one good enough. We'll do it again. It don't want to go right. I don't like oh, it. Right. Folding? Why would you fold it? I didn't fold mine before I cut it. Well, I just cut it. <laughs> and then I fold it. But if you're in says, Ray says fold it. So there, we're folding. I know we cut in right here, right? Yeah. Hi, Arena. Good to see you. So we're Hi. cutting. We're cutting in right here and right here, right? Yes. Cut that too far, but that's all right. Just right up to the crackalack. Yep, right up to the crackalack. Crackalacky. I may have to get my glasses out here in a minute. Uh oh, y'all. She busted out the glasses. I can't see in there, and I got glasses on. What does that say? Say I'm blind. All right. Then we fold it up. We do the rest of the fold on the scores yeah but the one we watched two different videos one video they cut the outer flaps down to meet the inner ones so you can do that if you want to guess what i am skipping that step i don't see the necessity in it well the one that i saw was she did this and then she cut these off yeah, that's what I'm saying. I don't see the point in doing that. You can just glue it. And it makes the box a little sturdier. So I'm not doing that. Got it. Yeah, but when you got to don't it like impede when you're trying to angle it? It shouldn't. Okay, yeah, it might. Well, no, because you would cut it too. I won't cut mine and angle it, and you cut yours if you want to, and then we'll see. How's that? Then they'll know to either do it the your way or my way. I mean, I don't. I, it's, it's not no big deal to me either way. Oh, I mean, I just, I don't know. I just don't see the point in cutting them. I don't think it'll. I don't what think it matters. What if you did it like that? Oh, I see. It needs to be done the other way. Then you're just going to glue your flaps. Yeah, but then you got to cut that angle. Oh my gosh. I just don't feel uh, confident in cutting that angle. Okay. Then so you I might have to. Like I said, I'm not cutting mine. And No, I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about when I go to cut the angle, I'm going to have to probably draw it on. Because I don't cut at an angle very well. Thanks for coming by, Irene. Yep, yep, yep. Irina. Irina. All right, so we're just gluing this bad boy down. Well, it's been a while since I used my glitter glue. Are you using your glitter glue or are you using your bear? I'm using my bear. I'm, I'm saving what's left of my glitter glue. Everybody's like gung ho about the bear. It's actually, I like it just as well as the glitter glue. It, I do not see a difference at all. The mm -hmm. only difference right. I see is I can afford the bear glue and I can't afford art glitter glue. <laughs> Plus, you get a cute little bear. Oh, you get a cute bear. Hi, Amy. 
They put it in a honey bear. Yeah. Who's there? Hi, Amy. I think that's how you say it, isn't it? It's A. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Making sure. Thank you. Is Pearl still having her cell? I had to leave because napkins. <laughs> that's all I'll say. Girl, I bought more napkins today. I know you're insane. Uh, me. That's how you say it. Uh, me. Uh, me. Uh, me. Oh, okay. I can remember that. Girl, okay. don't you know it? I get suckered into it every time. I'll call. I'll send uh, if I'm a text a message and I'll be like, girl, talk me down off the ledge. Okay, well that one, I curved my scissors. Okay. You just want to cut them at an angle, but I just curved my scissors so mine has a curve there. I don't care. I care, though. <laughs> well, you ain't getting it. How's that? <laughs> I care. Actually, it's kind of cute. I could probably straighten it up because I didn't get exactly corner to corner. You take measurements of that inside. Right. I'm too busy chopping up my box. Leave me alone. I'm going to have to use a ruler because I told you I just don't feel comfortable. I know me. And when it comes to straight lines, they don't. I don't know how come I got it straight on the other side, but I did not get it straight on this side. That's exactly what happens to me. But the other box, I did perfect. When I try to do a tag, the cuts are never the same on both sides. Oh, I've learned to fold my tags over. I did do that when I was making tags out of the um the index cards. I folded them right in half and then cut it. Yeah. Right. Yeah, I don't care. Girl, I know you didn't buy as many as me. <laughs> no, she don't need to buy any napkins because she just found a box full. <laughs> I got a box full. It's it's a problem, but it's not the only thing that I. <laughs> no, mm -mm. no, she just she has a buying problem. Problem with cards, playing cards, and I have a problem yeah. with fabric, and I have a problem with trim. <laughs> <laughs> what else? <laughs> uh, buttons. Oh, buttons, definitely. Buttons, yes. She calls me. I have, there's a button sale. Okay. But you don't need them. Yeah, I do. <laughs> you always need buttons. See, I've done a messed it up. I knew it. I messed up mine too. It's all right. It's all right. It's all right. I don't know. I feel that with that little lip it does make it a little harder to cut it but i mean it's small and what you want to do yeah and i know it's fun but you know after a while, you got more napkins and you got space, and you got more of this, and you got space. 
Oh, it's a never ending vicious cycle. I mean, that's why, let's just be honest, that's why I have another room now. <laughs> <laughs> I told my husband it was for an office. <laughs> no, it's for overflow. <laughs> Did you measure the inside? No. I just made the box and I'm moving on. Let's move on. <laughs> yeah, but aren't we like doing the insides? If you want to. Oh, you're not covering yours? Yeah, I'm going to cover it, but I didn't plan on doing it right the second. I wanted to build everything. But oh, you the, go, back, you the go back is exactly five inches. Well, what you do is you just cut it down a little bit uh -huh. on each side. So if it's five, go into like that next one, whatever that one is. That's usually what I do. It's five inches tall and five, and I have no idea what that line is. Six. Six across, five up. No, it ain't six across. Mine is. Oh, right. I'm five know. by six, right. I'm, hey, no, I don't measure that nabbit. Well, I thought that's how I do it when I do it. I just make sure I leave um uh, a couple of whatever on the sides. I'm going to get another piece of paper oh yes Jen I've got probably way more than you hi Sandra hi Sandra thanks for coming in yeah, I'll do tea cups doesn't that sound fabulous we are making recipe mini bookcases. It's not our idea. We borrowed it from somebody. We were inspired by a couple of people. And their info should be in the little box. Is it? I didn't even look to see if it was. Yes. Crafty Purge on YouTube and Twins on Instagram. And I so put, if it's six across, I want to cut it what? At, okay, when you're looking at the ruler, because I can't tell you how to read it. If you see six, I go up to the next big line. So it would be five and three quarters to me. Okay. Because I don't know how to read it. Sounds good to me. And if it's five, I'm going to do four and a quarter, right? It's going to be a little bookcase, right? Because we're going to have four, is it four little books? Yes, four little books. They are there. Well, I saw, it, I saw it the other day and was like, oh, that's that really cool. Right I'm <laughs> I was just giving credit. All right, I can live with that. So, but I've seen all kinds of them made. Six. Different styles and stuff. Two. I mean, you can basically make it anything. Yvonne had a really good idea. Should I tell or no? Yeah, go ahead. She was, I don't remember what was. She was thinking about making one um, for like the seasons to keep um, ephemera in or whatever. Embellishments. 
Yeah. You could do one like for or or the seasons, whatever you if you don't celebrate holidays, you could do seasons. Fall, winter, spring and summer. Or you could do Christmas. There was a lot. We had to cut it down. So you do Christmas, Valentine's or Easter, um, maybe the fourth of July, and then maybe Halloween. Or whatever you celebrate. And just how the fiddly fill do you do the sods? Well, you're going to have to measure it and do the same thing. Uh, it's got an angle. I know it's got an angle. So you just... <laughs> you know what I, usually do? I usually put it right on the paper and trace around it. And then I cut it a little bit smaller. That's what we're going to do. <laughs> I got measurements, but I don't have the measurements for the stuff to put on. This. You can use a double sided piece of 12 by 12 and then you don't have to do this because you'll have like an inside and an outside decoration. But if you're doing with the plain cards, the card stock and you want to line everything, then you're going to have to cut it all out. But somebody didn't have double sided paper. <laughs> Uh, I, I don't understand how she don't, but she does. I don't understand it at all. So I'm special. So you think I should put the flowers on the outside and the this on the inside? I think it would look better that way. Because see, this one competes like this would. If I just did the inside like this. Are you there? Yeah, I'm looking. Oh, I thought you froze. No, I like I like the I like, can you tell? The, it has I like a white little, side vest. It has a tiny little ball jar right there. <laughs> This is an authentic paper, and this is um, from the Saucy Collection. Saucy 6. I keep moving this different thing, trying to trace it. So you like the ones with the jars and stuff on it on the outside? Yeah. You don't think it's going to compete when I put embellishments on it? I don't know. All I know is that I'm doing mine in teacups. Inside and out. Maybe. I may have just done <laughs> Oh. Okay, so we're going to take a sliver off of you. Alright, I'm doing it like you said. I'm going to do the, the inside with the flowers and the outside with the rest of it. So the inside we said was five by six. So let's just cut this off first. And this isn't as strong with this one. Hey, look, it does cut. Yay. This has a really cool quote on it. If you got authentic authentic paper, you will always they always put a quote on this top piece. This one says, I prefer an interesting vice to a virtue that bores. Ma oh, no, I didn't. Oh, yes, I did. O'Leary? I usually try to incorporate it somewhere in my piece. I thought I cut the wrong piece of paper. Okay. Let's start down here. So I'm going to do it five up and six across yeah when I get some money I'll get some double sided paper mm -hmm. 
wonder if Walmart sells it. I'm telling you, it's just easier for me to just put it on here and do it. I swear it is. Well, do it the way you can. Whatever is easiest for you, dude. My, my dyslexic brain is you, <laughs> so out of whack. I don't know which one, which end is up, which end is down. <laughs> well, if you're sitting, that's down. <laughs> oh, gosh. All right, that's good enough. Are we inking? Oh, Are we nice. inking? What the? Huh? Do you, boo? Do you? I don't even know what the flip I'm doing at the moment. I don't think I've got my brown ink in here. I think it's out there. Um, yeah, I know I got a brown in here somewhere. Are you not inking? I'm still trimming. Okay. Lord have mercy. But of course I don't have one on hand. How many people have? I got an espresso. What's this one? Gather. Gathered twine and what is this one? Brushed corduroy. Which one do you think looks best? I think the ground coffee is going to be too dark. Yeah. What do you think? Brown sounds good to me. I know brown, but which one? Uh, what did you ask? Besides which one? I got brush corduroy, gathered twig, and then ground espresso, but I think that's too dark. Um, you know what? I'm just going to go get my vintage photo. I just didn't want to go get nothing. Hi, Mandy. I don't know. I don't know any of those colors. So... Hey, I'm not gathering twigs. I'm using gathered twigs, apparently. <laughs> I don't know about no party, but I'm on the struggle bus. Fire brick. She's a brick. Ow. Ow. <laughs> All right, I'm going to get. <laughs> Love your shirt you put out, Mandy. What? Got this print. I told you she had merch out. Of course, you were half asleep when I was talking to you. <laughs> yeah, I she know. I saw. 
So we were live merch, huh? Yeah. Stressing. Now, what did the inside of the box get? Oh. Having a cow. Chi Chi, take us for again. No, we're going downstairs with Natalie because Natalie's here. But Chi Chi's barking. Because I'm sure she heard you. Oh, because she heard me? Yeah, she yeah. don't like me. <laughs> it's okay, I still like her. That's nice. I don't think she really cares. We are making um, <coughs> a little bookcase. This is the prototype. We're making these. It's a mini bookcase. It's a recipe mini bookcase. And the inspiration and the ladies who first did it are in the comments put their links if you want to check them out because i'm sure there's just way better than us. No. yeah my sewing is not good today i tell you right now i feel so inadequate i am inadequate today i'm running just behind ever since i woke up So what? You already done with yours? No, I'm not already done. Because <laughs> I know how you roll. You're already done, and I'm just trying to get one piece put together. <laughs> she did the first proto. You should show them the proto. Oh, you already showed it. Yeah, I've got it sitting here so I can see it. A book. You always write a book. I wrote a book last time. It's in my book. Yvonne made hers in like 30 minutes yesterday. It seems like it was so long ago. It was just yesterday. Mine's starting to shred the paper now. It's because the um, blades dull. I know. And you can't get replacement blades for them anymore. You they can't? Change the no, they, I told you that. That they changed the design on them. Was that the right paper? <laughs> Did I ink the wrong? These? For the We Are Memory Keepers? Yep. They came out with a new one and the blades are different. Wonderful. Which just makes no sense whatsoever. Mm, it makes me angry. That I told you that. I'm gonna I try. Um, I saw a lady. She said to roll up some aluminum foil and then take the blade and put it in and out of it. I'm gonna see if that works because I haven't tried that yet. 
I tried to do it with a sanding block, it didn't work. I just think it's BS that they sell you a product, then they turn around and they decide, oh, we're just going to change it. And I don't even know what it looks identical to this board. I don't know what they changed other than the blade configuration. Where our blades. Go is it, this is it way, the new one goes this way. So it won't go in our groove or something. Well, that ain't right. Nope. All right. We got to have a protest. Yep. Go to We Own Memory Keepers. Time to leave stuff alone, Dag Nabbit. <laughs> I think they do it on purpose just so they can make it new one and you gotta buy. Well, that's okay. I just went and bought me a guillotine one. <laughs> At least the score, you know, I don't have a scoreboard, so I can keep it for the scoreboard. Yeah, that's the reason I bought in the first place. Was because I was like, ooh, it's a cutter and a scoreboard. Yeah. I knew I should have bought this stupid That would be sweet. Well, I got my trying to finish fishers. Oh, man, the foil's a waste of time. Oh, crap. <laughs> Figures. I don't think. Because it's just a little nub of a thing. I've got mine came with two blades, and I do have the other blade, but it's dull. I was thinking about seeing if my husband could take it apart, and then I've got some razor blades and seeing if I could just snap off a piece of the razor blade and stick in there. She has been booted. Really? Her internet is not. Oh, shoot. I meant to do the inside sides. I wonder if I trace the outside. That'll work for the inside. Is that how it works? Yeah, she's been having issues with her internet. She'll be back. She'll be back. Yesterday, we were going to come on. Uh, we we're going to do it uh, when she was doing her unboxing of her stuff yesterday. It took her an hour to get a connection. It kept booting her as soon as she came on. I know. I'll stay on here. I know the I know I know the drill. Oh, well, that was smart. Oh, well. Once I glue it down, you won't see it. Maybe. Oh, can you say goofball? I can say goofball because if I need it to face that way, I should have <laughs> yep. She's like, I'm out of here. That cutter done ticked me off. That one 
will not work for this. So I'm just going to use that for something else. Goodness. Oh, nerd, she just scared me. Awesome. Uh, and the only time mine goes out is when some redneck hits a pole. Or we get a bad storm and it wreaks havoc on the service. Did you leave us again, Ray Ray? Am I here? Okay, yeah. It gave me the ring of death and then it on my other computer. I don't know what's going on. Uh, mm. I'm seriously going to get my husband to buy me a 12,000 foot Ethernet cord and run it upstairs. because It's because the Wi-Fi is downstairs. A 12,000 foot cord, huh? All that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Mandy, that that, um, that extender thing or whatever it's called, the booster, yeah, mine don't work. It says it's got good signal and it just, it won't play. I know the, um, I know that the cable people, ah! the internet from, they have boosters now. I may have to get one. I didn't want to. You got enough paper to do all yours? Um, I'm doing... The box in teacups, and then two of the books are going to be in forks and knives and spoons, and then two of the books are going to be in teapots. This is the way Ray does it right here. Oh, don't do like I do it, forget to flip the flipping paper over. Because for one side you have to flip the paper over, and for the other side you don't, right? Yeah. I think. Crap. Yeah. Well, <laughs> I told you that's why I can't do measurements because I get all mixed mixed up as what's up and what's down, and then I'm cutting the wrong side, the wrong size. Yeah. So we'll just do it this way, and we'll hope for the best. I, Ray had me watch one of the videos and I looked at Ray and I'm like, I can't do it. And she's like, why not? And I'm like, because they want 116 and I don't have a 116 on my scoring board. So we got to find another video. <laughs> I said then, then change it to whatever. It don't even matter. It does matter. <laughs> it doesn't. I guess that's where I become OCD. I want to do it right. But, you know, hey, this works. Nothing's right on this one. <laughs> well, if you wanted to do it right, we'd have a die cut and we'd cut it out right. And it would be perfectly fit. But here, we look. I'm calling that good. And then we'll take this and I'm going to use it as a template for the rest of it. So we need to do one for the inside. Yeah, well, see, I forgot to cut the paper for the inside with the outside ones. So I was having to retrace. 
see that's why it's good to do it this way because then you can put it on the box and you know what you're doing yes the one lady had a die set from i forget where she said it was but it was a file folder die set and she decided to change it and make it into this i mean if you got really creative you could make it in the cricket yeah but don't ask me how to do that because we i mean we you have that around too well i mean you could take something that said cricket and change it and make it work uh-huh you can make it work and i did it I mean, if you wanted to if you felt like it it's just how did i do it backwards again who's got time for that i ain't got time for nothing because apparently i don't know what i'm doing excuse me <laughs> i just cut it backwards again <laughs> You're just gonna have to have weird sides. That's all there is to it. No, I'm not. I'm not gonna have a white side. You're gonna have a white side. I can do that. <laughs> you can do it. I told you guys this was like watching Laurel and Hardy. And I'm telling you what, if you ink the edges, don't can nobody tell that you messed up. Nobody. Oh, uh, they can when the printed side is backwards. Well, I can't help you there. <laughs> I'm just talking about the cutting part. <laughs> I ain't talking about the right way. That's all up to you. Okay. So I got my insides and hopefully I did mine right. One. Nope. <laughs> no. <laughs> what? Uh huh. Forgot to flip the paper around. Didn't you? <laughs> man, oh man. And I was sitting here just running my mouth. Running my mouth. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> oh crap, I did it wrong again. <laughs> Oh, okay, so if it's going like that, it's got to go like this. All right. This is Shut not up. the right way this time. See? See what you're doing? I don't have a paper. You did it. You're making me waste my paper. I don't think I have another teapot paper, so this better work. <laughs> I'm gonna make sure it's right before I even cut it out. Uh, it doesn't even matter this this time. Oh yes, that's right. Okay. Turn your template backwards. Yay! Yay! Yay. So now I need to get one out of this one going this way. <laughs> Stop it. I did it right that time. Yay. Oh, nice, nice, right here. It's already got an angle and it's cut. Kinda. Yeah, we told you guys it would not be a tutorial. Do not do what we're doing. <laughs> so the no. box, the box, you take a 12 by 12, you cut it down to 12 by 10. And then once you do that, you score it. I'm probably going to write these instructions down in the description afterwards. Yep. You score it, you'll score it at, on the 12 inch side, you'll score it at 3 inch and 9 inch. 
and then on the 10 inch side you'll score it 10 inch and 5 inch and then you'll fold it and you score it at what on the 10 2 inch and 5 inch okay i thought you said five, uh, 10 and 5 again no and then when you get it you'll see There'll be boxes that'll fold up into here, and they have to be cut here and here and folded up into here. I can't show you now because we've already got it together. <clears throat> On the 10 inch side, there'll be, you'll have a long rectangle, a square, and then a smaller rectangle. You're going to cut the line, the square, which will be the metal, middle, middle piece. Don't you fall on me. I'll be mad. And I totally forgot to sew on the front piece, but that's okay because I'm probably going to put stuff on it. It'll be okay. Done. <laughs> uh, there's the book, my bookcase. See, I told you, you guys, she's going to be sitting there watching me finish. No, right. Huh? Uh, I said, ain't that right? I'm just cleaning up my mess now. I'm not going to waste the teapot paper that I've got left. <laughs> Sit it right there. No. Now on this box, the one lady I watched, she used those decorative scissors, and mine ate this corner off. But other than that, I do like that. So you can do like the decorative edges and stuff. And then which box is it? Or whatever. Put trim on it. Yeah, or put trim or something. Okay. I see this box blade. goes further in than these boxes on mine. And the reason why is on this one, I lined my paper up with the cutting groove. To make my box with these I didn't I lined them up with the first line like you're supposed to do so that kind of makes a difference too on the depth of your boxes in case you guys want bigger boxes or smaller boxes I still don't understand what you're talking about <clears throat> on my scoreboard where your blade runs through yep that's where I lined my paper up with for the one box. That made a smaller box. Oh. With all the other one, no, that made a bigger box. No, that made the smaller box. Yeah, that made the smaller box. All the other ones I cut where you were supposed to cut them on the cutter, and that made the bigger boxes. I 
I ain't there yet. I know. I ain't cut my boxes or anything. Now go ahead and do it. All right. And it would have been so much easier if we'd done all this ahead of time. But, but then they wouldn't see what not to do. <laughs> right. Okay, what not to do. This was supposed to be cut out. Okay. And then you're going to score. Okay, so you're going to want to cut a paper that is seven by four and a half. And then on this one, you're going to, on the seven side, you're going to score it at two and seven eighths. And this is where I have to now bring out my glasses because I cannot see those numbers. And he said it's probably off one six seven eight. <laughs> probably. <laughs> since I don't have one sixteenth on here. <laughs> <laughs> well, of course it is. You know, the bad thing is I've been taught how to read measuring tape, but I can never remember it. Oh, crap. Was that four? I'd have to write it down to remember it. I can't read my writing. If I worked with them, worked with it every day and had to use it, I'd I'd learn it. But. Okay, so your score marks are two and seven eighths and one, no, two and seven eighths and four and one eighth. One eighth. I couldn't read my writing. My one looked like a seven. And you're going to do four of those. Let's set it to the side. And I'll cut all my little strips and stuff for that. Seven. One. I'm finding so much better at this preparedness and knowing what's going on. how to resize these you can make these any size you want don't ask me yes you can make it itty bitty teeny -wee. because the original lady she did six six books
Ugh. How did this one end up being too big? Yeah, I know. That's what I was thinking. <laughs> right when Ray and I were talking about doing this, she's like, we can resize this to make it any size we want. I'm like, uh-huh, you sure can. <laughs> and then she's like, oh, we could do this on the cricket. I'm like, uh-huh, you sure can. <laughs> I mean, it took us, what, all day to figure out how to do a flipping bunny carrot and whatever else it was we did, and you wanted to resize this? <laughs> Oh my god, no, no, no. <laughs> All day to make a round egg shape. <laughs> a bunny shape. Yeah, there was a lot of cussing. <laughs> I admire those people who can just look at something and say, Oh, it needs to be cut here, here, and here, and here. All right, you go, girl. Put their back cell. <laughs> and apparently, as long as it has measurements that are on this scoreboard, I can do it. <laughs> Yeah, what's the double of this? This side's all curved. It ain't even right. I was telling my husband last night, I really wish they would have made the scoreboard with the guillotine blade. Yeah, this side is so wonky. It's not even straight. Lord have mercy. Bye, Michelle. Bye, Michelle. Thanks for coming by. And it's still wonky. Mm. All right, there's our books. Now we have to pretend like we know how to measure the books. Good enough. You've made all your books? Huh? You made all your books? I made the covers. That's it. Don't don't go having a heart attack on me. Tomorrow Just yeah. the covers. Already. You I'm told me to. Alright, I'm going fast. Hi, Tanya. No. I, I have a rotary that my dad gave me, but I can't do a straight line to save my life with a ruler and that rotary. Crap, I can't do a straight line with this either, but, you know. 
three. I know you've got the measurements for this thing, so I'll just wait to cover them and I'll move on to the box part. Okay, the boxes. I'm going to get more paper out. I think. The boxes are six by four. So I'm not going to use any of this. There. <laughs> Guess what I didn't write down? <laughs> no, yeah, I did. Six by. Five. You know, this side's kind of wonky, but you know what? It's all good. Okay, so this is going to be. Don't look too close at it. Should we have done the back? Huh? Should we have done the back? Oh, Did don't you even start with that back because I ain't got no more money or no more paper. <laughs> it ain't getting done. She ain't got no more money. I don't either. <laughs> <laughs> the back is not getting done. All right. Okay, six and let's black. All right, so you're going to cut. Boy, this cardstock is really thick. Is yours really thick? Yes. Uh, four and seven eighths. One seven eighths. Okay. Make sure. Six and a fourth. Four and seven eighths. And you're going to score it at. One and one eight all the way around. Okay. So the book outside it's seven by four and a half. If you say so. What what do you mean if I say so? What were you asking? Did you not cut cut your book seven by four and a half? Yes, ma'am. <laughs> You didn't, did you? Yes, I did. It looks little, but I guess so. I know it looks little, but it's right. I, I promise you. I gotta get two more pieces of paper. For two and a two and what's seven eight? What? Oh, it's on here. Right yeah. on. All the measurements are on here, but you know that stupid one sixteen. Two and seven eighths. Yeah, six one sixteen isn't on here. Why is that? I don't know. Then it's irrelevant. That's probably what they put on the new scoreboard. It's the one six to <laughs> That's why you gotta rush out, rush out and buy it because that's what you need. <laughs> I'm not buying a new scoreboard just for one sixteen. Okay, I may at some point <laughs> there is a scoreboard with one sixteen cards. Four and four and one eighth. You know I'll have to look that up. Don't you? Damn, this is some nice car stuff. Yo, you ain't the only one. This is cute. Is this one the same size? Because it looks pretty close to it. Seven. 
And then what was the other thing? Four and one eight. Oh man. Oh man, it's one eighth of an inch off. How wrong is that? <laughs> is that really gonna matter in the scheme of things? Yes, it is. Probably not. Yes, it is. Look, I didn't even make short because it's the wrong way. What did you? What? What are you babbling? I'm babbling that I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> How many did you get out of one sheet of paper? I only got one out of uh out of a uh, eight by eleven and a half. All right, then I don't feel so bad. But that gives me a whole bunch of black borders and stuff for other stuff, so I don't care. Right. Frames, oh, that's what they're called. Oh, not right. Seven, four and a half. Yeah, this one don't like to cut this card stuff. It's making it rough, but that's all right. A little distress ain't hurt nobody. No. Two seven eights. Five four. One eight. Only thing I bought is my husband took me to Walmart last night and I bought a guillotine um paper cutter and then I got some white card stock because I was out. I've only been to one store since all this happened. The Dollar Tree. And I didn't even hardly buy anything because they didn't have nothing. It looked like World War Three had gone off in there. Well, I wouldn't have went to Walmart if he didn't have to go. Because that place is right now of the devil. Them people my, husband, my husband's been going to the grocery store ever since it's happened. Because I won't go. Well, I don't have panic attacks anymore so I can go outside. I don't have panic attacks. I just don't want to go out. I was having panic attacks. It's just an ideal, ideal situation for me. I never like going out in the first place. And I definitely hated going to the grocery store. So now he's learned how to shop. So now he has no excuse. That makes me happy. Because, I mean, honestly, the man needs to know how to shop. What if I'm not here? He's like every other man. Take out. Well. <laughs> no, he looks her head, though. Sometimes. Don't get me wrong. He don't mind... He don't mind take out. So, you know, he gets old all the time. And he does cook. Oh, I've seen some of the stuff he cooks. I want to be there for his cooking. That's three. One more. Now I'm getting this down. Hopefully they're all right size. There's the boxes. And now we cut our little tabby tabs. Okay, I don't need this thing anymore. Oh, yes, I do. Just got paper for all. Ooh, that don't sound good at all. I don't need this. What is this? So now you're going to cut your one side of your corner. <sighs> Two. Don't cut it no further. Oh, first you gotta fold your scores. I keep forgetting to do that. 
What? Huh? What? What? And I, I go ahead and cut triangles. Have you already made the inside of the box? What? What Have inside of the box? The little square. The little paper? The box part. Oh crap. I talked to you and I cut the wrong thing. What? Nothing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I said I talked to you and I cut the wrong side of my tab. I guess it really don't matter. Now we have four little books. Do you want to know the sizes to cut the outside too? Well, yeah, but in a minute. And my other question is this. Do we do we do the inside cover or no? What, the bottom of the box? I know the box part goes in this part and you glue that whole piece on. But I'm talking about the, like the this part of the inside. Are we putting something here? We can. It, I guess it depends on how you're doing your closure. And my question is this. Are you doing your little box part in here out of black? I'm thinking about doing it in like a different paper. Huh? The little box part we're putting in here. Are you I'm doing it? Black. <laughs> You're doing it white? Black. Black. Oh, I'm, I don't want to use pattern paper. I don't want it black on black. Well, I'm going to put pattern paper on the bottom. Maybe. I don't know. I got plenty of pattern paper, so I'm going to. Yeah, um, Ricky was telling me that uh, he used to stop at Pilot in the morning to get coffee, and you could only use new cups. You couldn't bring your cup in. Um, but they're sending all their creamers and sugars someplace else to help. So they're not keeping that in the store. So he's been going to Weigel's where Weigel's does not care if you bring in your own cup because they've been cleaning and disinfecting every 15, between every 10 and 15 minutes there. And, they, and they have cream and sugar. I don't know about my son's at the gas station. My son works what works at. I don't know what they do. But they've got nasty coffee anyway, so I don't know how they sell it. See, on the video, it shows you make it. So I don't know how you do it. Oh, I'm saying, I like Shaney. Nothing but Shaney. <laughs> I think I'm going to use this bow bunny paper. Well, so I've got, I was going to use bow bunny. I've got lots of it because I've got that same print. So it's going to be a little bit this and a little bit that, which is just usually normal for me. Oh, wow. State law now. I usually don't ever use the same paper pad. The whole time, everything is fixing to crash to the ground. Are you getting ready to have a crack? 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 It's, it's happening as we speak over here on the side. Slowly. Slow in. All right. So to do the inside, the box part, it's six and one fourth by four and seven eighths. See, I forgot to do one. I think I'm going to get to again. I'm bad at that. I don't know if I should do it on the do the yellow on the outside or do the, these things on the outside. I don't know. Let's just cut it first and see what happens. Let's just see what happens. Yeah. Okay. 
So, have you done that part or what are you doing? What part? Trash. The box part. I'm making the boxes now. So I, I haven't lined the cool things or nothing like that. I'm just I made the cover of the book box and now I'm doing the box part. I'm probably doing it the wrong way, but huh? Let's just see. Four and seven eighths. Four and seven eighths. You don't have to cut the tabs. I just think it looks nicer. I don't know why I'm weird. I'm no, I'm just figuring out which which will be better on the inside and which will be better on the outside. Should I do this part on the inside or do this part on the inside? I don't know how it's going to look when I fold it up. I don't know how it's going to look when you fold it up either. Maybe I do the yellow outside. Do the yellow on the inside and the, the other things on the outside. Are you sure? No, I'm not sure. Is it going to look good with the box like that? I don't know. Where, where is your box? The yellow will look good on that. Hi, Arlene. Hi. Then do it the other way. Don't listen to me. What do I know? Why does it seem like it's really big? Ask the other people. Why is it six and a half by four and seven eighths? What are you cutting? Six and one fourth. The inside of the book. Oh, the box part? Yeah. That's because you haven't scored it yet. To make the box. You've cut it the right size. You just haven't scored it. Uh, yeah. What do you guys think? Hi, Arlena. See right here. Inside or outside? This is so fake. Inside or outside? This side is like a tone on tone. And this one has like um, vintage ladies cooking. Um, it's a bunch of stuff like that. I don't think you can really see it. That's a tone on tone. And then this is the labels on the inside. So this would be on the inside. And these would be on the outside. Which is that's what you see in here. When the books were in here like this. So it would be either like that or like this. I'm just thinking the yellow will look good on the outside. Someone said tone on tone. Okay. Thank you. Carlina. I've got my glasses on so I could, I could see, but I had to throw them down. I couldn't see who said it. I just saw tone on tone. It's really cool. I hate that y'all can't see it really good. So score at one and eight, one, one and one eighth all the way around? Yes. This stuff ain't even cut straight. That's wrong in itself. It ain't even straight. Look at that. Look how off it is. And look, now it's unchonked it up. Sometimes I hate cutters. It's just sad. I hate them. Hi, Mary. Hi, Mary. Hi, Mary. Hi, 
thanks for coming in. Yeah, I can play all right. Well, it's going to be a little rusted on the edge. So if this is in the inside, I need to score on the inside. And we do it at one and one eighth. One and one eighth. Just here. Well, this edge ain't still ain't straight. Whatever. Huh? I said this edge still ain't straight. It'll be okay. All right. So cut the line and rotate. Clockwise. So if I cut here, I go here, and then I go here, and then here. And you just flip it, and you go clockwise. You're doing the corners, right? Yeah. Yeah. I guess. I swatch are supposed to be cutting on the corners. Nice. I got it. And then we fold. what it looks like if I flip it the other way. And you guys only like this. And this would be the inside and this would be the outside. I didn't know your brand daddy a drink, sorry. My Pepsi from earlier is fine.
So is anybody working on anything crafty? Are you just chilling like a villain? I've been making a few little things here and there. She's been on a roll. Where I have not. Oh my god, it's so cute. That's a little box. It's a little wonky. A little wonky. Here and there. Making cards halfway through a junk journal. I'm taking it. gutting books. That's always fun. That's what I do a lot of the times. Look at this. It's like not straight. Sorry, not sorry. I don't know. <laughs> It'll be okay. Nope. The box will hide it or the top will hide it. It'll be it'll be okay. It won't be okay. It will I be okay. Look, stop being so OCD. Can't have it. See? Much it's better. Chill. It's not going to lay right, though. It'll be fine. It's so cute. I should have inked it before I did it. Dang it. I just like making the box parts, too. It's I mean, fun. The little boxes. I mean, you can make the... You don't even have to make the little bookcases. Just making these little boxes... And decking them out and filling them full of goodies for somebody or something. Yeah. Or cut the kid out, send them instructions and say you're on your own. You know, that works too. <laughs> <laughs> Plus, you don't have to put a box in here. You could make a journal. Yeah. A tiny journal. So it's what if. They could be tiny little embellishment boxes or Yeah, that's where mama stashes her candy from the kids. <laughs> See what mama made? Never touch it. I'm loving it. So you're supposed to eyeball it and try to put it like evenly spaced. You don't need to glue it in until until you decide. Well, I guess you, you can do that. About putting the eyelid in it. Oh, you can. Uh, I didn't. Have to lost my eyelids. I don't know what to do with them. I don't know what I do with my flipping eyelids. Just punch a hole. You don't have to have an eyelet. If you're going to use a jump ring like that, it'll stay. Well, yeah, I know, but the eyelet will just give it more security. I know one lady did it with her crocodile with the book in it. Yeah. I'm just sticking it in. Hopefully I get it in the right way. Hopefully it'll be straight. So stinking cute. Just the endless possibilities. I know. Do these for Christmas. We could be moved back a little bit. Dang. We'll see. Glitter glue, man. Once you got it in, you got it in. Yeah, journals hidden in the box. Yeah. Little tiny journals. Yeah.
or you could even do it as a stationary set for somebody. You could do like make little envelopes to go in one, some kind of cute little papers to go in another one. Well, we were going to put recipe cards, right? Yeah. We're going to put little file folder recipe cards in here. That was my plan. Yep. Now, where are my boxes? Oh my god, I love it. I love it so much. I just don't know what. Bye, Mary. I don't know what kind of enclosure I want to do. Oh, crud nuggets. Well, there's no putting ribbon on it because I've done glued the box in. I asked my husband, are you going to be late? So no. Know. It's five o'clock. It's already five o'clock and we're only this far along? Yeah. Holy snikes. That's what I'm saying. I don't know what to do. It may be a two-parter. It's definitely going to be a decorator two-parter. All right. One, four. It's a chair. Actually, I think I do know how I'm going to do my enclosures. But we can't do my Do tell. I'm going to do the Velcro dots. Oh, yes. I, I agree. I agree. How are you going to do a Velcro dot? I mean, how am I going to do a Velcro dot? Yeah. The way the one lady did it was she had a piece of paper that wrapped around the front of the box. It started here and went around and came back up. And the Velcro dot was on the paper. So she just took it like this and vel velcroed it to this part? No, to the, this part, the covery part. So you put a piece of paper here and then velcro it here? Like a belly band. Only the belly band opens. So b before we put on that back piece, we need to put a piece of paper right here to hide it. Huh? I'm thinking about putting one like here with the closure here and you just pull it open like that. But you'd have to hide it underneath the thing that goes here. <laughs> but if you do a band, you don't have to hide it. Well, I want to do a band so we'll be different. So there you go. <laughs> well, you do yours because I don't know what you mean. <laughs> Look, where's a piece of paper? It'd be like this, and it Velcro like right here. And then when you open it, it have a little thing like that, and then it Velcro like that. Yeah. But, it, but this part is going to be covered up with the front of the paper right here, so you wouldn't see this part. You just see it coming up right here, and then it would Velcro down right here. Okay. You see what uh, I'm saying? Yeah, I see what you're saying. Now, what she did, she just made a cute little band that went around hers. Yeah. And it opened on the band. I don't want to do a whole around the thing. Uh -huh. <laughs> I like your idea. <laughs> a little less work. Yeah, that's definitely a whole lot of less work. The thing is, is that I got to remember to make sure I put it down before I put the back on. Or it's going to be a disaster. Y'all, 
dang, I think I like this score right here better than the other one I have. Because that plastic one would sometimes make it break. I get too heavy handed with the metal ones. Uh, the plastic one, when I used the plastic one, it would split the paper. Huh. Cardstock. The, it's because the plastic one has a tip. See, these don't. They got balls. We got big balls. There's a big one and a little one. Okay, Tanya. Bye, Mary. I can't remember if I said bye or not. She's going to clean. It does when your butt's getting tired. I don't want to play it in front of her. I don't want to play. I want to play. I want to play. Oh, I can't tell. That'd be cool, Tanya. What are you doing? Eight. No, mm -hmm. I hear you. <laughs> <laughs> Piggy, I hear you. <laughs> he made my steak already. I had to eat it. Oh my god, you're eating steak! Oh. Don't get pressed, it was cold already. Oh, I don't care. <laughs> I, need, I need cold steak and be all right. Okay. Yeah, he grilled them. Oh. <laughs> Last weekend, my husband made hamburgers and they fell all to pieces. It was hilarious. He was like, where'd you get these hamburgers? They fell all to pieces. I was like, on oh, public. Oh, I shouldn't have done that. I wanted to. Oh, little. Okay. Yeah. I, uh. I ordered food online from Publix and we'll never do it again. All the fruit and vegetables they sent were nasty. I'm talking about the bananas were were black. Literally already black. And totally mashed. Like it looks like whoever brought it. Must have took it out there and like jumped them down on it and then brought it up to the porch. So I sent them a message and they sent me, they refunded it. I was like, this is ridiculous. And I ordered sandwiches from the deli and they made them all wrong. But I didn't know by then. It was too late. They only give you one refund at a time. 
I was like, man, uh uh, never again. I mean, that's the only thing that sucks about getting your. Your shopping done for you is they don't they don't pick the good stuff. They pick the crappy shit. Yeah. But I'm like, that stuff's too expensive to be giving me crap. It's gonna go bad the next day. So my husband won't let me do it anymore. If I do it, it's just gonna be staple stuff that doesn't, you know. Nothing fresh. I love me so much. Ooh, I've got to stand up. My legs are hurt. I need to get a new chair for in here. That's a first thing. I almost had me one the other day on Marketplace. 40 bucks. That makes me sad. Are you here? Yes, I'm here. Will you get quiet like that? I think I'm gone. Sorry. I'm you trying to... Or something. I'm trying to figure this out. Figure what out? Stamping up. I Dang think it's it. stamping up. I usually don't buy stamping up. It's expensive. <sighs> Mandy must have hit the road. I ain't seen her in a bit. Dang glitter, glitter glue. She said she had to help bro band. Bro, bro. Man, there is there is no moving that glitter glue. It's gonna be probably at all different heights. You're gonna be able to tell too. <laughs> you can tell my box is not what all right stop looking at it Ray stop looking at it Down to one case. That's amazing. Awesome. I don't know how many there are here. Yeah, I don't keep up with it. I think in the U.S. it's hit, what? Oh, is it 100,000? No. Or or is it uh, one million or something? Too many. I don't know. Mm. 
I know that in our county has gone up since they've lifted everything, but. Like I said, more than likely it's come in and out of this house because my husband and my daughter have both been going to work. So don't tell me they ain't come in contact with somebody and brought it in here. I mean, let's just say in the first two weeks it was like overkill with the hand sanitizer and the spraying and the cleaning. And But since then, don't nobody use no hand sanitizer. My daughter has to wear a mask at work. Rocio, I think, wears one. I wore one when I went to Dollar Tree. But, like, more than half, you know, half people didn't have one and half the people did. So, I mean, in the whole six feet apart wasn't happening because we were in a line that wrapped down an aisle and another aisle and we were not all six feet apart. That's when I decided I was like, yeah, ain't nothing to Dollar Tree that's worth all this. I said, if I get COVID from going to the Dollar Tree and not getting nothing, I said, I'm going to be angry. I mean, they literally didn't have nothing. I mean, I was so desperate to buy stuff. I bought like two brushes and picks for your teeth and would I get anything that had to do with crafting oh I bought some some red white and blue American flag straws paper straws I bought one pack of napkins that were they look like limes and I bought it's a little folio thing that has um post-its in it that looks like a greenhouse the rest of it was stuff I didn't really need to buy my at all. Because I felt like, damn it, I needed to buy something because it's been so long. But I've been making for it, making up for it online and in sales. Trust me. I still got two more things to open. You didn't open them while I was gone? Oh, no, you said you had to clean off your desk so that you could do this. <laughs> yeah, I didn't make it there today. They're still sitting over here on the floor. Six, seven, one, four. Yeah, the whole lockdown in our state was a joke. Nobody gave a rip. I mean, it was pretty dicey around here. Like, I'd say the first two weeks. I mean, they let people go at my work. We didn't know if we were going to still have a job and all that. But trust me. After four weeks, the milk and everything was up and going again, and there was no turning back from there. So it's been like a madhouse since then. But they're not making a lot of different kinds of milk. They're mostly making gallons, not half gallons. They've stopped making certain things. You have to have pre-orders on sour cream and stuff now. Which that was never before the case. We've been cut milk a lot. Because the retailers are buying so much. Eggs. The price of eggs went through the roof. Then fell. And are slowly going back up through the roof again. That was crazy.
literally the the um, chickens were laying golden eggs. <laughs> it sounds like it. Might as well have been as much as they were charging for them. And then there was the egg shortage, so we we got shorted eggs for like a couple of times. But as everybody knows, everything's going up in price. Everything. And meat. I think meat from now on is just going to be outrageous. Oh, yeah. Our hamburger meat just finally went back down. Last week when we went to like grocery shopping, it was a flipping joke. The prices they wanted for uh, hamburger meat. Well, we went for like a solid month and a half with no hamburger, no meat at all, like none. The same with toilet paper. I just now ordered uh, a case um, from Amazon and got it delivered yesterday. Because I usually buy it by the case. Yeah. So luckily we had a bunch on hand. When everybody was going nuts with it. And I didn't buy any more. But I got a couple of rolls at like a dollar store. And then I got some that time I ordered from Publix. Like one roll. Because I don't think you could get more than one roll. But I did get a case from Amazon. If anybody's interested in looking on there. It was Cottonelle. They don't have the Angel Soft yet. And that's what I usually get. I was so glad our store is finally stocking toilet paper again. I know. It was just crazy for a minute. I was like, are you serious? Like, how can they not make enough toilet paper? Oh. They should be on them machines 24 hours a day pumping out toilet paper. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, the crafters would have figured out a way to make more. <laughs> well, I wasn't scared. <laughs> like I said, I got plenty of. We have all them napkins we got hoarded. And <laughs> oh, yeah. And, yeah, but I got two boxes of napkins in here. You better believe that. Fancy All that. Book pages. <laughs> pages. <laughs> that $10 yard fabric will go pretty quick. Oh, man. I didn't have one wrong. Oh, well. It don't matter. It don't matter. It don't matter to me. I can't believe how wonky this cutter cuts. How high one side is and one side's not. Yeah, I know. I mean, the way that people just went, <laughs> went after the toilet paper, you think it was like... The and the hands. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> My husband said they're buying Christmas presents for this year. I'd use the napkins, but I'd go for the Dollar Tree napkins first, and then we'd work our oh, way up to the fancy ones. Yeah. <laughs> and they would be limited to yeah. how many they could use. <laughs> use them fancy napkins first or last. <laughs> right. We use all them Dollar Tree ones up real quick. Yep. Because they pretty much 
come out with the same ones every season. I thought I didn't get nothing but the lime ones because I've already got watermelons and lemons. I probably still got lime ones in there too and I just don't know it. Yes, girl. I was bad yesterday with the napkins and today. It was some Sends me a text message. Where are you at? I'm buying napkins. <laughs> of course you are. <laughs> I'm at the grocery store. <laughs> Talk me down. I'm buying napkins again. There ain't no talking her down from buying napkins. Or she sends you a text saying, Talk me down. I'm buying buttons. Why the <laughs> hell are you there? <laughs> Stop buying the buttons. <laughs> uh, talk me down. I'm buying fabric. Talk me down. I'm buying cards. People just need to stop having sales. That's all there is to it. It's too easy. Ray can't stop herself when she sees a sale. Look, if people weren't selling it online and I didn't see it, because I wouldn't be going out, I wouldn't buy it, you know? So, that's the issue here now. She has enough napkins. I'm sure she could make, oh, a good... 10 15 journals and never use the same napkin twice more than that with what i just bought i was being nice <laughs> <laughs> yeah i went a little crazy yesterday and today and i love her reasoning well it's just three for a dollar it's better than buying a pack of 25. well it is okay. But it's more napkins. <laughs> I, know. I know it don't the reason it makes no sense. I know. I'm just thinking, well, I got more selection then. Yeah. And then she's like, You're supposed to be talking me down. I said, Yeah, but you're not listening. <laughs> you just went off that ledge. <laughs> Dang it. I'm walking this box up. But you know what? It's okay. It don't matter. It can be unwonking. It's all right. It's because this cutter is not right. It's just a unique box. <laughs> He's got a hair lip. Because <laughs> one side is like way down. <laughs> It'll be all right. I can't help it, man. Napkins are pretty. They are pretty. Especially the ones that were being sold yesterday. And then it doesn't help that I'm sitting there going, ooh, that is pretty. She's like, yeah, see, I have to buy it. No, that doesn't mean you got to buy it. Oh, you didn't see the ones today. And a good thing was that I fell asleep during it, so I didn't really get to see all of them, or I'd probably bought some of every one of them. It was nice. And it was the fancy ones. From the fancy ones. The fancy. She did have some pretty napkins. Oh, the lady today had pink cowboy boot napkins. That oh. were actually shaped like cowboy boots. And when you unfolded it out, it was like four little cowboy boots. Oh, how adorable. Yeah, I didn't get none though. Okay, what am I gonna do with those? I mean, good enough just to have them. <laughs> More than likely, I'm never gonna make a cowboy journal. I'm don't know about a baby one. Hopefully not for a really long time. She didn't even make a dent in the ones that she tried selling. <laughs> that she still has that full box too still. Oh yeah, Mandy, I still got that box over there. 
Luckily, I got another room now. I can store them up in there, and they're not sitting in the middle of the floor. They've been sitting there for, what, six months? Do you hear her? Luckily, I have another room to store them in. <laughs> 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 we need to have an intervention. <laughs> we do. We need to have an intervention. Her name is Ray. She's addicted to everything. <laughs> Oh, and don't get me started on the little golden books I bought. <laughs> yeah, we won't even go there. <laughs> oh my god, <laughs> that was insanity! Somebody should have smacked me. And the bad thing is, is that when I opened the box that I got that had been sitting up in here for months and months, I had bought the exact same ones the other night. So I have duplicates. Yeah, but you did get a good deal. Like you said, you and uh, Tina did a swap. You know, you gave her what she needed and she gave you golden books. You just didn't open them in time, so you didn't rebuy them. <laughs> well, $2, man. I'm telling you, I, there's people that sold them for five and six bucks a piece. Yeah, that was a good deal on them golden books. So, and I mean, you can go online and try to get lots of them, and it's hard to find them less than two dollars. I meant to cut another one of that size. Do I want to around the edges of the box? Don't them. I'm really thinking about making another book for that one that got really wonky. Well, it wouldn't take you that long to do it. Are you sure about that? No, but it sounded nice to say. <laughs> okay, I don't understand how it's, it's not straight. Because your blade is messed up. See, this one's pretty straight, but then when I try to put it together, it ends up not being straight. You're not holding your paper the right way. I'm not holding my, my tongue the right way or my breath long enough. <laughs> Who knows? worried about my husband I want him here before dark yeah I don't blame you anybody see what was going down here in Atlanta last night yes, they freaking no. stormed CNN they were busting out the windows they had cops like lined up inside CNN because people were busting the windows out trying to get in why so, would you try to and there was, they set a cop car on fire. There, it, there was the, I don't know if it was the basketball hall of fame. It was something here. And they looted and busted it up. They busted out all the windows and they destroyed the inside of it. I don't understand why all that's going down in Atlanta. It didn't happen in Atlanta. And I don't understand why they're doing it. Anyway, they have. Uh, well, it went on in a lot of cities. It wasn't just. Oh, I know. It's it's going on everywhere. I don't know about Tennessee. I haven't heard anything about this yet, but I'm sure there's some rednecks out there somewhere doing something stupid. I just, I don't get it. The one that breaks my heart is where they were, uh, where they burnt the police station. Was that in Atlanta? No, that was in Minnesota where it happened. Okay. And all those case files and all that evidence for, you know, all these cases that they've been working on. It's gone. They have no evidence now. 
to prove stuff. I mean, it, they did not think about how many lives they've affected or anything by doing this stuff. They don't care. And all the people that I've watched that have been speaking out about this have been, uh, I watched a, I hate being, I want to be politically correct, but I don't know what the politically correct word is. It was a black man that was putting it out there. And he was, he was so passionate about how ignorant they all were that they were making things worse, not better. Oh, I did it any flipping way. See, what did I, you put do? My I put my closures on. It's just, it seems like it's getting scarier and scarier. Like, I worry about my son working in the gas station with all this crap going on. Well, Savannah lives in the building. I know. Uh, right next to the place where her Russia went to uh, board the board of the hotel. She lives in the building right next to it. That oh. they supposedly busted all the windows out in the hotel. That's just scary. Right. They can't. They can't get up in her in her where she lives. Though it's like you have to have a code and stuff. But who knows? Somebody could set it on fire from below. Uh, I didn't want to say that, but that's what I was thinking. And you know that's what goes through their mind too. But most of them, they go after like stores and stuff like that. Yeah, where they're they, going after stupid stuff. Where they can steal stuff. I don't know. Young people. I mean, I like living in the city when I was young, too. I can't say nothing. But now it just scares me to death. I mean, I, I put those in upside down. But, you know, they got to live their life. Well, this is just a monkey ball. It's not for me to tell them where to live, what to do anymore. Okay, do I want to cover the sides? I mean, if I had been her age and I was able to live in a high rise like that downtown I would have done it too in a heartbeat all right I'm not cutting on this one because I don't want it to be wonky stop Ray stop Miss Miss Girl. Are you missing me? Where's my boxes? Are you missing me? Have you been in there snoozing? Huh? You've been taking a nap.
Plus, I don't want them to be scared because I'm scared. That ain't a way to live your life either. No. Because then you miss out on so much because it goes by so fast. You blink and you're 49 going on 50. What? Grown ass kids. I don't know when the hell did that happen? Right? Been married to the same man. What? 22 years almost? Lived in the same house almost 17, which is insane. Because I never lived that somewhere that long in my life. I'm not liking this one, but this one is too low, too. This one looks better. I guess if we put little spines on it, we do it this way, and you can't really tell, can you? Uh, no. But you can tell. I'm making another one. I don't like this. Okay. You think I can get it off without tearing it up? Yep. I have no idea. She may right. Yep, I have no idea. <laughs> Go for it. What, you can't do nothing but tear it up, right? Yep. Be like Nike, just do it. <laughs> okay, where's my baby guillotine? I need it. Oh, it ain't too bad. It's still good. The box will be able to cover all of that up. And I can save the wonky box to put something in. See, see how it's, I don't know if y'all can see. But like this side is like really shorter than the other side. <laughs> special. So very special. What'd you do? Just glue it wrong? No, when I was trying to trim those little wonky bits off, I got a little carried away and just kept trimming. Until it was no good. Oh, it was no good, huh? It was way low on one side and way high on the other side. It's unacceptable. I know I'm probably making a ton of people nervous right now. So where are you at in this process? Oh, here and there and everywhere. Oh, shut up. Where are you at? I'm right here in Seymour, Tennessee. Where are you at? Grace and Georgia. <laughs> I am lining. Oh, you've already started making the linings? Yeah. So you're done with your boxes? Yeah. Well, I did decide to make a, one over again, so that's on me. Okay, I'm not going to... Okay, I guess I will on that side, too. <sighs>
Bye, Tanya. Have a good night at church. Hi, Bye. Jen. Hi, Jen. Thanks for coming in. Nice to meet you. We're doing some crafting, making some little boxes. Attempting. It's a little, uh, it's going to be a little recipe mini bookcase. These are the little bookies. And we're going to put recipes in there. And Yvonne is way ahead of me, as usual, because she's speedy going on. <laughs> she don't wait on a girl. She just bulldozes and straight ahead. Hey, I tried waiting, and you said, no, go ahead. Then she'll get done, and she'll be like, all right, I'm ready. I'm done. I'm ready to go. And I'm like, no. <laughs> I'm not finished. Seriously, this is probably the first time we've crafted together. <laughs> no, how long? I know. Usually you sit there and watch me craft and I sit there and watch you. Oh, what are the gun? Oh, what thing from BMO? Huh? I got my thing from BMO today. Oh, your winnings? Yeah, we'll open it here in just a second. That'll give you time to not What did you it. win? I forgot. You got stamps, know. didn't you? I think I got stamps, yeah. She's a wiener. Didn't I'm you win? Scared. You win some. Did you won somewhere else? Didn't you? No. That was the only one. Yeah, that was the only one. I don't never win anything. Well, that's because I don't like entering a number if I don't bid. And Ray's over here going, "No, oh, put a number in. Put a number." I'm like, "I don't want to put a number in." And then I put a number in, and I flipping one, and I felt bad. Why did you feel bad? Because I didn't buy nothing. You still were there supporting her. Oh. And that was the whole deal. I mean, that's why they give good they get they do giveaways. Oh. This is so sweet. Be the one to have if you're going to do a sale. Because that girl is on it. No dilly dallying. Her and Aaron both. They and do good that's job. what I want. These stamps. Ooh. Really cool. Fancy. Yeah. It says, it's your special day. With love on your birthday. Happy birthday. Oh, it's a birthday make, set. Make a wish. Birthday wishes. Celebrate. Celebrate. Present cakes. Friends. Hot of time. I like that. I'm just like a hot of time. Hot of <laughs> Thank you very much, be mom. Be my rock. She does. I love watching her do her auctions. I love her and Amy both. They crack me up. They are hilarious. I think it's so cool that they. She lives with her. She's so nice because you know, uh, Amy was living with her son and then he moved out and just left and she couldn't afford it by herself. Yeah. And she ended up having to sell like almost all of her crafting stuff and be my way and got her and let her live with her, which is so awesome. 
So now they live together. I think that's the sweetest thing. It is. I love when people rally together around and help each other. Okay, I'm, I've got a crafty mess I'm about to clean up. It's driving me bonkers. Hi, Cindy! Hi, Cindy! No, I haven't been around in a while. I haven't gone on, like, in a month. She's having you know, life, work. Plus, we've, we've done remodeling in my house. We uh, tore up the carpet, put flooring down, moved my office upstairs to my old, my daughter's old yeah. room. She moved downstairs. And... We redid that room, so now it's my office slash craft room slash sewing room slash slash store. <laughs> so, I mean, that's a good thing, though. And my husband's been painting and redoing and he put a new store in, and it's just been a little chaotic around here. But now I've kind of got everything back together. Mm -hmm. still, work, still working on it, but it's better than it was. And now I have room to actually work again. Oh my gosh, this is the cutest thing ever. I just want to make a million of these now. I know, right? The only thing that I don't like is the pattern is messed up on the side. That's what I don't like. And I forgot to sew this part up here. But. Well, actually, my husband's been busy. Let's just be honest. But we did a lot of purging, too. I mean, I mean, I took. He had to move the furniture. So everything got taken down and cleaned. And we decided if it was going back and. We just got rid of a lot of stuff. Sent it to Goodwill. And it just feels better in here. I'll tell you what. I'll never have carpet again. I hate carpet. Oh my god. I did not realize how nasty it was. The only place that has carpet is the master bedroom upstairs. And this down here, and if I could rip this out and put in wood floors, this crap would be out in a heartbeat. Well, we didn't put in wood floors. We put in veneer. Well, you know what Not I mean. veneer. Vinyl. Yeah. That or the, you know, I like what you've got down, which I know we is the veneer. Four wood. <laughs> well, that's what I meant. Veneer. That stuff that looks like wood or whatever <laughs> yeah it's a vinyl plate the the kind that snapped together yeah um actually in the this craft room it's brown he did this one a long time ago before we did the others everything else he got a really good deal on it so we've done the whole house in it we're, we're working on it we did the upstairs he's got to do the downstairs but it's kind of a gray wood i know look. that gray is beautiful it's really nice i love it it's a little strange on the feet at first but you get used to it and i bought some rugs just rugs so i'm excited for all this carpet to go because it's been here i mean I can't imagine with all the dog hair. And just the dirt in general. Well, the upstairs doesn't have carpeting because my husband went to work one day and his best friend and I decided that it was coming out of the house. <laughs> we, went down. we ripped every bit of the carpet upstairs out. Did you decide what was going on outside of your boots? 
Don't what? tell me black. Do what? I said, did you decide what's going on the outside of your books? And I said, don't tell me black. Yes. That's what I'm doing now. What kind of pattern paper you got on it? Hold on, I'll show you. I'm doing spoons and forks and knives right now. Spoons and forks and knives. Oh my. Yeah, oh my. Hmm. Are you going with the same theme across the board? No. Are you doing a front and a back and then a spine different? Mm, what? I, um, no. Are you doing the whole front, back, spine the same? Yeah, I did. I did that. Are you making all of them look exactly the same? No. Two are like this. And then two are going to be in this paper. Okay. I'm thinking I just want to do a bunch of different kind of papers. It needs to go with that. Let's see what we got left in there. Oh my goodness. Everything is just like Everywhere. Oh, I forgot I got this little bow bunny. Six, too. Bow bunny, bow bunny, bow bunny. Bow bunny, bow bunny. I was going to use my bow bunny paper. Huh? Was, I was going to use my bow bunny paper, but it was flourish. I just didn't think that was going to look right for a cooking one. Oh, look at that. That's pretty. I don't know if it's going to go with this. It's kind of a retro y feel. Ooh, look at that. Ooh, diner. That's like the tiles on the ceiling. Mm -hmm. uh, I ain't liking that too much. Maybe I'll use some of this. It goes with that. And I got a piece. Okay. Are you doing the inside cover and spawn too? Um, I may just end up putting like a little pocket right here to stick something in. Okay. And do that. I said, I got enough paper to do that. I don't know if I got enough to do anything else. I'd like to use up these little pieces, but I don't have that many little pieces, man. I, I use, ooh, it's a strawberry. Strawberries? I don't know if that's going to go either. I ain't feeling it. this one but I don't want to cut it up because there's only one 
Well, then scan it before you cut it up. That's your mouth. Look at the berries in the back. Oh, how pretty. I know. It's not like you got to go downstairs to scan it now. That's your mouth. There's a, this one's really cool, too. Yeah. But I don't want to cut it either. So I've got this one. I've got this, this, and then I've got this, which can be this or this. And then this has got this on it, which is food, words, and then we got this. Which I'm definitely going to use the aprons and the spoons. Yeah, they're too cute. The aprons and the spoons. Maybe the floral? I wish I could use these. See, I've got two of, the, two of those. Everything else is cards. These are all cards. And I don't want to cut these off either. What about these milk milk tabs? Oh, those are cool. Would it look good with it? It's not red though. It's it's more orange. It doesn't have red in it. Oh, I don't This one would be it. Oh no. It won't fit. I'd need two pieces of it. I do like this. Why are you going to cut it down? Right? To border it? Oh, maybe it would fit. What do you think about that? I like that. Do you think it goes with the theme, though? It's cooking, ain't it? But you know, it's it's, it's kind of retro. -y. That's cute. But these chickens match? Oh, crap. Mm -hmm. Kinda? Kinda? Chickens? Daisies? Nothing speaking to me. Let's look and see what's in here. Oh. 
Oh, that's cute. But you see, this is red, and everything in here is not red. It's orange. In this other paper. And that's where it gets weird looking. Oh, look at that. Man, I hate it when they don't give you one piece. I could do yellow. You see, that don't match either. Well, actually, ooh, look at this. Well, that's cool. Ooh, look at this one. Oh, I like that. Is that egg beaters? Yep. And look here. Spoons and forks. I can't tell what that is. Spoons. Spoon forks, knife. Oh, sort of like mine. Hi, I mean, mine's, mine's green. Yours is green? Yeah. We are making recipe mini bookcases. We've already made the boxes. Hello, Lisa. And these are the little books that we're... We've made the inside little box. And we're... I'm start going to decorate the outside of each one of these right now. And we're going to put recipe cards on the inside. But I'm trying to figure out paper. All right. I think we're going to apron these. I can't do more, more forks and spoons. I'm thinking about these pink stoves. And should I just go ahead and do the floral? Or this. Maybe this color. It's kind of groovy. Let's do that. Thank you. This is an Echo Park um, paper pack with some ephemera. I don't know where I got this from. Doesn't have a Tuesday morning sticker on it. So who knows? May have got it from Tuesday morning. Uh uh. I know where I got it. I got it from Peachy Cheese. Because that's why I got ephemera. And it's got a sticker sheet, which is cool. And then I got this one. And this one I did get it Tuesday morning. This is the Country Kitchen by Stephen Duncan. And it's real cute. It's one-sided paper, too. Well, the other one's two-sided. This is one-sided. I love this lady right here. I may have to cut this one out. And then I got often cheap, saucy, and I got a small bow bunny one. This one is recipe family recipe collection. But I don't have. I don't like anything. I've got these, and I'm going to decorate each one in a different one of these. Well, I've seen that. We're going to do the outside. And then we're going to do some... Uh, boy. Some embellishing, but I don't know if that's going to happen today, because it's already woo, 6 o'clock. Bye, Mandy. 
Mindy, have a good night. Mindy Lee? Yeah, she said she's got to go. Okay. Bye, girl. So, the front of the book, I didn't give you the measurements. Two I, five eight times I've four. Just been tracing. It's two five eight. Two and five eight times four and one fourth is the sides. This may not be pretty, but I did. You know, I tore, I tore one of mine out because I didn't like it. I tore one for me. Oh, she Two and five eighths. Mine should be four and four, four and one fourth by one and one sixteenth. No, one six. Where's one six? There is no one six. Uh, that's why I'm just playing. Well, that ain't nice. No. Let's see what we get. What right here? All right, I'm going with one and one four. What we got? Good enough, good enough, good enough. I'm trying to see how I feel about this on here now. No, I'm still liking this side. Um, I stopped it, but I said sometimes it's trips.
Been taken. I gotta put some little bitty guns, got these big guns. Jolie, who played in the first movie. You didn't like it? Huh? You didn't like it? I like the one with Angela Jolie. I don't like the new Laura, Laura Croft because it doesn't look anything like the, the character. Oh, I what you're talking about. Because she's supposed to be a young woman. I don't care. No, it doesn't. It doesn't look, looks like she's older. It doesn't look younger at all. Well, look at exactly the a much younger version. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I checked the shoulder because that's actually there's no lead. Well, she is older, isn't she? No, we're talking about the new Tomb Raider versus the oh. old one. Angela Jolie looks just like the character in the game. And the first game. Yeah. I wouldn't know because I never played it. Oh, I was a big Tomb Raider fan. I played all of them, but these newer Tomb Raiders I can't play. I can't play any of those new games. Oh, I love all kinds of games. I love shoot 'em up games, and I like. I was good at farming. I was good at Pac Man. Oh, yeah, Pac Man's good too. Miss Pac Man, Galaga, Centipede. A oh, centipede, I did not do good at, at all. Oh, I love that. Oh, the classic Tetris, I was really good at. I was good at Mario. I played Jake and Dexter and Crash Bandicoot, I was pretty good at. And there was another one. I 
had a little thing. Ratchet. Ratchet. Clank. No. My kids played that. Yeah. I like the little kid games. The little <laughs> adventure games. I couldn't play those other ones. I tried to play Devil May Cry and Silent Hill, and I was like, no good. Oh, no. Silent Hill was a no-go. I think that's the game that my husband was playing, and I was watching him, and something popped up on the screen, and I screamed, buddy, bloody murder, and had a seizure. What? Oh, that was my son, apparently, that was playing it. I don't know. I couldn't figure it out. It was like too much for me. I think there was one other one that me and my friend played. It was one of those that we played together. We both helped each other figure it out, but I can't remember what it was. But those games where you gotta find stuff and all that, I'm not good at. It. Oh, I love them kind of games. And when you gotta fight stuff, nope. Oh, uh, don't get me wrong. I like uh. Mortal Kombat and all that. And uh, what was the other one? I had never played Street Fighter before. Oh, I like that one. What was when? the other something, something Caliber. It was made by Namco. I know it had a samurai in it, and it had um, a guy with nunchucks and a couple of girls. My friend, he was, he would, I mean, he could, that samurai dude, there's, you couldn't beat him for nothing. He beat you every time, and he used to make me so mad. my brother-in-law it wasn't my brother-in-law at the time but ricky's younger brother that's what he put off It'll... and he asked me if i wanted to play and i was like yeah sure i don't know how to play but i'll play with you oh, jerry sorry i wasn't looking up oh Hi, i love I, I like the racing games I had lots of racing games, and um, the ones where you snowboard. Yeah. Oh my gosh, I used to love playing Tommy Hawk. Tony Hawk, not Tommy Hawk. <laughs> Tommy Hawk is a weapon. <laughs> and I had one that was a like a sea do game. That was fun. Those are all on the uh, PlayStation. But I don't play nothing anymore except for Candy Crush. I can't get into that flipping Candy Crush. It makes me mad. It's the Friends one. Sherry Mandy left. She was here for a while. I appreciate you coming on. We're making little uh, recipe mini. It's going to be a little bookcase. You make these little books to go in it. And we plan on filling them with like little recipe cards. Here's the little box. Gotta finish decorating it. But that's what it looks like so far. And um Yavana's doing hers too. But she hasn't showed it, so She's being anti. 
There's mine. I've got two of the boxes done. Cool. I've got one. Well, I think you decided to redo one. Working on number two. <laughs> Pearl done with her too. Okay, if I want them to go this way, they have to go this way. Four and a half. to be some continent like that they need to be this because I'm gonna cut it and then I'm gonna turn it and cut it this way. See that orientation gets me every time. Right? You wander? Yes. <laughs> can't believe you called me that last month. That's so funny. Because I don't know your name. I know. Apparently, you don't know who I am. I know. Who the hell is that funny looking woman over there? <laughs> oh, okay. my. For now, I just the bottom of the box and I forgot what the measurements were. I'm thinking that one is like in between this one and this one. It's like one of the tiny marks on the roller that's not even on the scoreboard. Let's see what happened. See? I knew it. What? It was it, that number, the one six is between the one and the one eight. It's in between that. Oh, okay. Yeah, I know. It's riveting. Now we know where it is. And I think if you looked on the ruler, it's, it's the teeny tiny ones that are in between the smaller ones. Your husband knows how to read your ruler? Well, yeah. But he wasn't here at the time that we were needing that. Oh. I mean, yeah, he's here now, but that's beside the point. Okay. Ooh, I kind of like those. Look it up. 
I don't know. I'm thinking I might might have to go. Are you getting tired? A little. I am. My legs are killing me sitting in this chair. I mean, we've been on here for quite a while. We can go on again and do the rest of it later. Okay. I've got a. finished putting my ends on this one and the other ones. Oh, I did not forget to ink it. Boo. I don't know. I just need something to drink and I need to get up out of this chair. Cause it's killing me. All right, I'll finish this one and then we're gonna we're gonna hit it, right? Okay. I'm tired. And like I said, I ain't streamed in a month. Well, I made a video last night, but that was just a recording video. Yvonne's not been live. You can send me four videos, right? Uh, yeah. I think I've just done recorded videos. I don't think I've done any lives. There's a lot of stuff been going on here, so I haven't been able to. No, I did do a live not too long ago. Did you? Yeah. Did you do one when you when you got something? Did you? I think so. No, I made the boat on a live stream. Oh, that's right. See how much I pay attention. Well, I had to stop and think too. What do you think about tomorrow? Huh? What do you think about tomorrow? Well, my son goes in at two. We can we could go on early. Okay. Or not. <laughs> That's fine. I just have to, I don't know what I'm doing for recipe cards. Yeah, I know. I've got to work that out, too. I think I have a die cut I can use, but I have to dig it all out. So, maybe it won't be tomorrow. Maybe it'll be next weekend. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say, um, or maybe, sometime, or maybe sometime this week I can finagle it. And not work myself to death. That would be good. I love these little stoves. What? Can you see? And you can't see nothing. Let me pull my light over here. They're so cute. All right, got the back left. 
Are you almost done? Oh yeah, I was just doing this one while you did that one. One more to set up. You know what? I may make those pockets on the inside out of fabric. Because I did want to use that fabric. Yeah. So maybe I don't know. We'll see. Or just sew it to a piece of cardstock. Because I got plenty of pieces of cardstock laying around. Three whole people watching. Yeah, one of them's me. Oh, that's right. Then we got two whole people watching. Watch out. We must be riveting. Not really. <laughs> yeah. I definitely don't have the talk game, that's for sure. I'm not a very good teacher. I don't always pay attention to chat, so that makes me awful. I don't know how they do it, where they can look at chat and be crafting. I cut something off if I do that. Look, and the ones that can chat to every person who is in the chat. And I mean, it's like when there's lots of people there and they're still responding to everybody about everything. Yeah. I'm okay. okay. No. I really don't chat a lot in chat. Sometimes I do, but not very often. Usually I just say hey to everybody and then that's it. Maybe throw in a... an opinion here and there. But most of the time I don't. I just don't feel like I have much to say. I don't think people really pay attention anyway, so. Oh my god. This one may be the cutest one ever. <laughs> Yvonne, look. Hold on. Yvonne, Yvonne, Yolanda, Yolanda. <laughs> Hello? Show it to me. Oh, you yeah, showed the pages. Awesome sauce. But look what's on it. Is that a watch me? No, that's a stove. Yes. Oh, real cute. A retro stove. And it's pink. Girl. It that's is. what I got. The two that I got done. Okay. And then I'm going the other two. I'm going to do um, one is going to be the apron paper. Yes, the apron paper. And this this one right here with the rolling pins and the spoon fork and knife. Whisk. Okay. 
But that's going to have to be another night because this girl is wiped out. There's wiped not out. And no, the pink ones are not done. Let me see. Right there. I'm putting you up on full screen. I don't know why I didn't do that a while ago. Oh, wait. Well, you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. There's my box. Oh, it's so cute. The green ones. I did the side here. And on the sides and the bottom. Oh, that's right. You put paper. You didn't do it like me. And then the pink ones I'm not finished with yet. I still have to finish these. That's why I called up to you. Because you had to cut paper to put on the inside. Uh-huh. Yeah. I've already got what I do. Oh, crap. <laughs> I've got to make one more. No. Yeah, one more of these and three more of these. And then glue my boxes together and they'll be done. Yay! So, oh, you know what? I'm one of those people too, I think. Would it count me? If it's me looking at me? Yes. <laughs> we got one. One person. <laughs> That's all right. As long as they were entertained. That's all right. All right. So I'm going to put me up on the full screen so you can actually see mine because I'm an idiot. Okay. So there's the ones that I've got done. And there's the side. Side. And I got to get me a sewing machine. That nabbit. This is the inside. Did Love you put it. something on the bottom? Uh, or did you leave it? No, I left it blank because I didn't I didn't think about putting it on the bottom. And here's two of the books I got done. This one. And this is what's inside. And it has a tone on tone image right here. Which you can kind of see. Can you see it now? Yeah. And then this one is the stove, which so cool. I'm freaking loving. So, and then I got two more to do, which I said I'm going to do in the the forks and spoons and the aprons. And that'll be my little set. And we're going to make little five folder recipes to go in here. So how are you going to do your recipes? Are you going to write them out? Are you going to type them out? Are you going to... I'm thinking about just cutting them out of the book, pasting them down. Well, aren't you lucky? What do you mean? I don't have a cookbook. Are you kidding me? No, I'm not. I'm not cutting up my cookbooks I use. Lord have mercy. I'm just going to... I don't know what I'm going to do. I don't even know how many cookbooks I have. More than the law should allow, I'm sure. <laughs> I may... And I, you are not touching my Stephen King. Stephen uh, King cookbook? Yeah, that would be messed up. <laughs> I am so afraid. Oh, it's just down to you and me now. <laughs> oh, that is hilarious. I feel so loved. Shout out to everybody that's not here. <laughs> if you come in, give me a thumbs up. Even if you don't 14. watch the stream, please. 
Oh, I should have said that in the beginning because nobody's going to make it to the end. <laughs> <laughs> Unless they sleep through it and then wake up and it's the end. Right? Yeah. That's usually what I do. Yeah. All right. I guess I'm telling you bye, Yolanda. <laughs> um, I'll talk to you later, maybe. Okay. If not, it probably will be mañana. Mañana. Thanks for coming on with me. I have no problem. It's been a minute. It was fun. Even though nobody likes us. <laughs> you know what? I don't even get. I don't care. I'm sure somebody, some big YouTuber came on. Well, no. There's sales going on. <laughs> People are just being <laughs> Ain't nobody got time for us. No. We ain't selling nothing. I can't believe Jennifer didn't stay. And this, like, everybody's making this. Oh yeah. really? Have you? I mean, have we seen anybody make it besides yesterday? <laughs> Just saying. Did you see anybody make it? That we know? No, not that we know. No. You know what? But anyway, like I said, our inspirations, there's links below in the description box. I'm going to try my best to get instructions in there. Um, if I don't, all you have to do is to go to Crafty Purge is a video and she gives you um, the info. And if you still need it, you can email me or you can chat me up on Facebook Messenger. I Sherry How can Sherry still be how can there only be one watching if Sherry's here and I'm here and you're here? I closed mine out. Oh I no. thought you had ended it. <laughs> <laughs> I was still talking. Well yeah, Sherry, we appreciate you. you. We I appreciate you. you so much. And I'm sorry you had to hear all that bitching. <laughs> Oh, Miss Sassy D. Girl, we about to wrap it up. I just had my little bitch session about nobody being here. But Sherry's here and you came in. So I'm glad you came by. I appreciate it so much. Yep, yep. This is what we made. It's a little recipe mini. <laughs> bookcase thing. We're going to fill these up with recipes when we finish them. Uh, we still got a couple more to do. But we tired out. Go live again. I'm tired, girl. I got to get out of this chair. How long? Three hours and 30 minutes. I'm done. Baked. Finished. <laughs> Overcooked, actually. Scrambled. Maybe, maybe a little burnt. <laughs> Thank you. It is cute. It turned out so cute. Like we said, if you look down in the description, there's links to the person, the people who made it and the YouTube lady who also made it. It gives you the tutorial in full. Probably See, way better like than ours. Books. Huh? The way you did yours, yours looks like books. I know that. that cute. The yellow on top, the two-toned. Yes! That's what I was trying to tell you. Mine don't. Oh, well, I don't care. Okay. Well, I appreciate you coming by. It's been my first live since a month, so it ain't like you've missed anything. <laughs> 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 Let's just be honest. All right, ladies. I got to go stretch these uh, fat legs out and get some water. Y'all have a great night. Bye. And come back and see us whenever we come on again. Maybe in the next three months. Okay. <laughs> <laughs>
Hopefully it won't be that long. <laughs> right. 